Welcome back. You're watching Weekend Live here on SABC2. Thank you for staying with us. It's time again for our weekly celebration of architecture. And today's architect, Sabello Sitole, talks about his favorite building, the Mandela House on Velikazi Street, which also hosts the Nelson Mandela Museum. We are at uh, the Nelson Mandela Museum, uh, which is uh, the old Nelson Mandela's house, his original home in Johannesburg, uh, number 8115 Villagazi Street. And the reason why this is my favorite building is not because of the apartheid uh, era house. It's what has been done to it and what has been added to the yard. Uh, which brings us to the new structure. The new structure is a linear face brick and concrete structure on the edge of the site. What's nice about it is it has paid respect to the original house because as a museum space, it means we are almost recording. We are, it's almost a time capsule of the architecture of the 40s, 50s. There hasn't been anything that has been attached to the original house. It's used the material that is, the, that is closest to the original structure. Obviously, you cannot always find the bricks that were used in the 40s, but what the, the architect has done is they have used face brick, the red face brick, which, you know, also, which is reminiscent of what was uh, used on the original house, and also, the, the, there is a whole symbolism about the whole uh, material when, when it comes to the material, the concrete, the use of concrete, the use of the red tiles as you come in, almost as if it's the township stoop, you know. It, it, it picks on all those elements that make a township house. As architects, sometimes we focus too much on the structure, on the building, and almost always come back to do the landscape part of it as an afterthought in many instances. But what I like about this house is that the landscape almost, um, uh, it, it seems, it was uh, conceptualized at the same time as the whole uh, uh, precinct design. Um, the, it blends very well with the structure, the, both the new structure and the old structure as well as the street, the, the street edge of the, of the whole uh, earth. The rusty uh, boundary poles, steel poles. What's nice about it is that the architect, I said he's used concrete, he's used brick, and he's used that steel. And all these materials, he's used them in their almost honest form, in their original form. The steel has been left to rust. Nothing's covered. There's a sense of transparency about the whole thing. And there's a sense of honesty that, you know, the, you know building materials are vulnerable, so, uh, so are we as humans and human beings. So the architect has uh, almost uh, uh, interpreted that very well.